What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Supreme Sports Talk. And today, I'm going to talk about the dangers of combat sports. And the reason being is because this week, we've had not one, but two boxers die after fighting in the ring. One was Hugo Alfredo Santillan. Probably mispronounced that one, but I'm going to have it down there so you can at least look it up, see it, whatever. And we had Maximum Dadashe of Russia. Again, going to have a picture of them so you can at least see who I'm talking about. Because I probably butchered their names. Now, the one thing I want to talk about is the fact that, yes, we know that it is a dangerous physical sport. We constantly hear people such as Deontay Wilder speaking about how the brain isn't designed to take that type of impact. We look at fighters such as Tommy Hearns, Muhammad Ali later in their lives where the constant basic punches to the head have caused irreparable damage. And my question is, where is that line for the referees? Because we have something as simple as Adonis Stevenson. Last December, he was in a fight. And after he was knocked out in the ring, by seemingly wasn't a very hard or very big puncher or even a big punch, he was placed into a medically induced coma. He remained in that coma at least two to three weeks and, you know, very late into that, he began moving his hand, began moving his arms. Late January or a month later, he began to form words, be able to move and walk. And then we didn't see him until June of 2019, which was a little more than six months later. And the thing is, did the referee stop it too late? Did he allow it to go on too long? What was that line? Where was that line drawn at? And why are we entertained by such violent acts? Because even you look at Sierra Lokovic, when he was fighting Deontay Wilder and he knocked him out, he had a seizure in the ring because of the impact of a punch to the head. And even with another Deontay Wilder opponent, Arthur Spilka. He was viciously KO'd by Chaucer this weekend. And the question remained was, why didn't the referee stop it when Chaucer was hitting him, had laid off of him, and then hit him maybe two or three more times before he actually succumbed to the knockout? And for me, the issue that I have with it is because we all complain about early stoppages. Then we also complain about the stoppages that may have gone on just a little too long. But we've had organization owners or managers or those that run those organizations such as Dana White fire officials or release officials for what he believed was a quick stoppage. And at what point do we allow the people that are actually inches away to make a decision versus those that are either watching on TV or even ringside to make decisions that people are actually being paid to uphold, have been trained to do, and make those type of decisions. Where is that line? And I want people to comment on this because to me, it's a issue that needs to be addressed. Because, yes, we like the violent contact. Yes, the people going into this understand every time they go into the ring that they may end up a little less of themselves each and every time. And it could result in a death. So, is the sports itself too dangerous? Because we've taken, seems like, just extreme measures in sports like football and even hockey and protecting the athletes. But how do you protect 
one in a actual combat one-on-one -on -one sport? That's the question I have. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to get back to you. Like this video. Share this video. Because the more comments we have, the more this issue can be addressed. So, until next time.